Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to talk all about the different types of wireless microphones. As we've covered before, wireless mics normally come with either a receiver and then a transmitter. Uh, basically, uh, the uh, receiver hooks up back by your audio system. Sometimes it's built into a powered speaker, but uh, we hook up the receiver um, via XLR quarter inch connection uh, into wherever we need the audio to go from there. Uh, then we have uh, the transmitter options. Normally we have the options of a lavalier or lapel mic with a body pack. Um, a handheld microphone um, or uh, different types of headset uh, mics that normally also come with a uh, body pack. Some don't, but normally a headset comes with a body pack in most cases. Uh, so these three different types of mics all have different pros and cons of each. So we're going to kind of go through those a little bit so we can determine what's best for your application. First, we're talking about the handheld wireless mic, a uh, tried and true handheld transmitter. Uh, lots of different manufacturers make these, Shure, Sennheiser, Samson, um, basically everybody who makes wireless microphones, uh, but very popular in that it's uh, versatile, you can move it around, uh, you can use it for uh, instruments, you can use it for singing, for speech, um, and sets up very quickly and can easily be passed off to another presenter, another speaker, uh, that kind of thing. Um, with a wireless mic, uh, wireless handheld, you also normally get less feedback because typically uh, we can coach people into getting the microphone a little bit closer to them so that they can speak directly into it. Um, that cuts down on the distance from uh, the source and the microphone, which can help with feedback. Normally, wireless handheld mics are the ideal choice for uh, music, you know, for performers on stage, um, as well as, you know, events where you might need to pass that microphone or leave it on a stand. Um, things like uh, council rooms, public address chambers, uh, places like that where people might need to walk up, talk quickly, and then walk away. That leads us into lavalier microphones. Lav mics, uh, sometimes called lapel microphones, uh, basically all the same basic thing. Essentially, this small microphone clips to a shirt, I have one on now, and wires back to a body pack. Normally, you see lavalier or lapel microphones used a lot uh, in broadcast. Uh, you know, the nightly news guy sometimes has one on. Um, and that's normally probably the second most popular microphone out there. Uh, a lot of church pastors will wear them as well. Um, they can basically blend in to where you don't see them and uh, are very easy to uh, pick up the source very well and, and allow people to be completely hands-free as much as possible. Generally, lavalier microphones aren't ideal for noisier environments, uh, like a school gym or fitness gym. Uh, also, in cases where we need volume to be very, very loud, uh, live music performances, things like that, a lavalier microphone really isn't the ideal solution in that case. Um, also, in comparison to the handheld microphone, the distance from a lav mic on your shirt up to your mouth can be a bit further, which can sometimes cause problems with feedback. So normally, we want to use lavalier mics for speech, uh, spoken word, uh, church pastors, broadcast, things like that, where things are going to be a little bit quieter and uh, we don't have as much concern as uh, feedback potentially being a problem. Uh, that then leads us to headsets. Um, as the name says, basically a headset's worn on your head. Uh, there's different styles. Um, some are very small and sleek and uh, flesh tone, uh, designed to kind of disappear, you know, kind of like the, uh, the church pastor on TV who you may not notice is wearing a microphone. Uh, some are built a little bit more robust and rugged and have a little bit larger, say, uh, black windscreen. Uh, windscreen is basically the foam cap that goes on the end that keep, cuts down on some handling noise. Uh, sometimes you see those on, uh, you know, dancers like, uh, you know, the Britney Spears, or the Lady Gaga, or some of those people that wear headset microphones while they're running around and more kind of need a more robust microphone. Headsets are great because they can help pick up sound no matter where you are. Your hands are completely free, uh, but most of the time these headsets do still typically have to wire back to a body pack. Uh, some companies like Samson and also some of the more fitness oriented wireless microphone uh, manufacturers do actually have built in transmitters on the headset itself to cut down the need for that wired cable back to the body pack. What's great about a headset microphone is generally it almost always stays exactly where you put it, just a couple of inches from the mouth. 
which helps with uh, picking up um, picking up the the voice even when someone's speaking quietly. Um, things like school uh, school plays. Um, or church pastors, things like that, where uh, feedback can be a problem. Uh, a headset makes it really ideal um, solution because then we can make sure and get as close to the signal source as possible. One of the drawbacks of headsets is it's a little bit difficult to share. Uh, you know, you can't really just take off the headset and put it on another person quickly. And also you wanna make sure and disinfect a headset lots of times because it's right there by somebody's mouth. So headsets uh, generally aren't used as often in most live audio applications, also in public forums where you're gonna need to be able to pass a microphone quickly in a conference room, things like that. Uh, but headsets definitely have their place for being a great way to make sure that uh, every, every syllable is heard from a speaker, uh, especially in an environment where it might be noisy or you might be concerned about uh, feedback. That's some of the different options of uh, the three different types of wireless microphones that are out there. If you have questions about what's best for you and your application, definitely reach out to us. Uh, like this video if you enjoy it, and make sure and drop us a line down below if we can help with anything else. And we'd love to be a part of your next audio project.